What's up guys, Landon here, and welcome to the newest Let's Play episode. Today we got a jam-packed episode, so I'm really excited about it. First off, we're going to start with some few with a few raids, and we're going to see if we can't do some upgrades to our base, maybe max out another Tesla, that would be awesome. And then we are going to do a quick giveaway announcement video, or not a, not a video, but just a quick giveaway announcement, because we got some really cool stuff coming up, and uh, I'm sure you guys are excited about it. You guys are going to really enjoy this. And uh, lastly, I'm going to be doing an interview in this video. It's going to be uh, with Nick at Night. He's a really cool dude, and I hope you guys are going to – you're going to think that's pretty cool. This is going to be my first interview, so I'm excited to see what you guys think. So if you do enjoy this episode, make sure to show this series some love by smacking that like button. Let's see if we can't grab 1,500 likes. That would be awesome. Really show your guys support for the series. And uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun week. We got a new horse episode coming out this weekend, and then next week we got a challenge me episode and a brand new series that I'm, that you guys are just gonna you guys are gonna really really like. It was the one where I'm dropping down and just going to Champions League. It's gonna be crazy, but let's get to it, guys. So let's see if we can't find our first raid. We got quite a bit of gold, quite a bit of elixir, quite a bit of gems, and we're gonna have a good old time. So I'll get back right when we have a raid. See you in a second. Okay, guys, we found our beast. We're gonna take on. I mean, it's not the best base in the world, but two air defenses are rebuilding, and uh, it looks – or three air defenses, excuse me. Oh, this is going to be – this is going to be too easy. I mean, I don't have three lightning spells, which I definitely should have. I thought I did, but no worries. That will be fine. So our first thing, we're actually going to use the lightning spells to take out a wizard tower because that will be – that will be nice to get rid of. So hopefully we can take that one out, and then we're going to pull out the archer queen. Where did she go? Okay, she's right in the front. So we'll see how she's doing, see if she wants to have a good old time and play with me all the way over here. And my minions can just ask her how she's doing. So the Archer Queen is going to die. Now we just need to pull out those Clan Castle reinforcement troops if this guy has any. And then we're ready to go full out at Trojan Master. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's a little PG-13 name. Okay, so uh, Archer Queen is down. No Clan Castle reinforcement troops. So our main focus is going to be taking out those Expos, that one air defense, and the Wizard Towers. And then we're going to easily three-star this base. Uh, so we're just going to overload some balloons in this little bottom section, and uh, in all the other little sections we're going to put in a few few balloons so we can take out the wizard towers. And then we're going to have some minions following each side, just to show them a little love, show my balloons a little love. So this is going to be a 400k raid, which will be quite nice. Hmm, I'm going to see, do I need a spell? Alright, I probably, yeah, I don't want to waste a spell. I was going to drop one, I really don't think we need to, I doubt I even need these two balloons I just dropped, but why not? Things are going really well at the moment. That one expo is doing a lot of damage, but this was not the hardest base in the world. I just attacked it because it had 400k resources, and this was going to be an easy three-star victory. That was like a speed run. Ooh. These balloons are just ridiculous. I, I know you guys know it. Probably say it every time I do some uh, balloon minion attacks, but I just love this freaking strategy. It's so ridiculously good. I'm in a little lower trophy level right now just so I can get a ton of loot because... At 1,600 trophies, or right around there, I'm just finding bases. Like, every other base is 400, 500k, and I'm loving it. So there it goes. A, a beautiful, beautiful three-star victory. Nearly 1,000 elixir, or dark elixir. That's nice. But then we also got uh, 250 elixir and 200-plus gold. So that was a great first raid. Easy pickings. Let's see how close we are to actually maxing out the Tesla. Because if you guys see, I haven't really talked about my base. So I'm going to talk about my base for a little bit. As you guys see, all of my walls are level 8. And uh, it's looking a lot better because I'm definitely getting ready for that big push. And I definitely, I know guys, you guys are going to be like, oh, you're definitely not ready to get in Masters League. And I know that. That's why I'm going to be doing a bunch of, I'm going to be getting sponsored and just be gemming on my base. And for all the people that don't like all these gemming stuff, I still have my second account, which I'm going to do more videos on when I'm doing this big push because I haven't used gems at all on that account. So that's just going to be like my, just like my playthrough without gems and just totally legit. So I'm just going crazy pushing in this account. I'm going to have my other account. And that's going to be doing all the series and all that stuff, so it's going to be a good old time. So um, right now I'm focusing on maxing out my Teslas. There you see I have my first Tesla that's about to be maxed out going to level 7. And there's that. Oh, I just collected all the presents. Didn't mean to do that. But I have two Teslas going to level 7 right now, and I have two level 6 ones, which I would love to pop one upgrade. I think we need – okay, so we need 500,000. So hopefully we can get another big loot from gold, and then uh, we'll gem it up a tiny bit, not spend too many gems. But – our base is looking pretty good. I'm not sure if I should stick with this base for when I'm doing the big push. I kind of like it, but hog riders do really, really tear this base up. I mean, it's pretty good against witches because there's just so many, there's so much uh, room and they have to break through so many walls and stuff. But the hog riders can just jump, 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 go right towards the central defenses and they just destroy me. But with the with the new three prong inferno tower, I'm excited to see how it works. So I'm gonna jump up some troops right now. I think I'm just going to do the Barbarian Minion strategy one more time because it just works so well. So we're going to get 35 
minions. Only nine gems. Minions are actually pretty cheap to gem up. Uh, it'd probably be a good idea to get some get some spells with me. So I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring some three lightning spells, a rage, and a freeze. That's what I usually bring because I can take it an air defense and then or two wiz two lightning spells just to go a wizard. And that's very nice. But I do prefer taking out an air defense because I doubt we're gonna get so lucky with the next base we find. But we are full army camps, so let's find a raid. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we found our next raid. This guy is absolutely stacked, and it looks like he's been away from the game for a while. His pumps look absolutely full, and just 260 of each. Gonna be a sweet raid. His air defenses are just basically thrown out, so I'm gonna take advantage of this guy and just take all of this yummy, yummy loot and hopefully get that uh, Tesla upgrade pretty soon. So, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna drop a few balloons right on top of the air defenses because. Um, if, if balloons are close to the air defense, they can take them out very, very quickly, and they're actually not not amazing against them. Okay, those air bombs are freaking obnoxious. I'm not going to lie. With the new update for the, the traps, everyone has been using traps so much more often, and um, it's a little bit annoying for air raids because there used to be barely anyone ever put the uh, dark the dark uh, air bombs, and barely anyone put either of the air bombs. I mean, definitely at the top of the game people did, but for just like farming levels, no one ever did. But now people are doing it, and it's kind of annoying. But we'll live with it. Okay, so now we're just going to focus on getting that getting that one expo. Let's point it up out of the way. So we're going to drop a few balloons right here, followed by – I'm going to get quite a few minions. And now at every, at every wizard tower, we're going to drop a few of each troop and hopefully three-star this base. I'm pretty sure we should be able to get a nice old three-star, take all of this loot away. But I think I'm going to drop my Archer Queen as well for this raid. Actually, I might need some spells because – um, I probably could have handled the beginning a little bit better, so I'm going to drop a raid spell right there, follow it up with the Archer Queen, and uh, I think we're going to get towards the center of the base, and that's going to be perfect. Yes, okay, so we're definitely going to we're definitely gonna clean up this base. I was a little afraid for a second, but it looks like my minions, along with my balloons, are still up. My Archer Queen's destroying them with that raid spell. That's another thing I, I really need to focus on, getting my uh, King and Queen up, because at Champions League, which is going to be the end goal. I'm going to need to have a freaking uh, King Queen that are, if not max, they're very close. So getting them to level 40 is going to be tough, but we're going to try our best. And we should we should get them at least to like 25 when we're pushing. That'll be one of our constant upgrades. Okay, so we're going to get we're going to get this three star, two three stars in a row. Gosh, guys, we are killing it. Freaking 500k plus raid. Heck of a second one. So you know what? I think we're one raid away from getting that Tesla. I'm going to do one more raid for this Let's Play. And then we're going to get to the giveaway announcement and the interview. So thank you guys so much for sticking by. More coming up right now. I'm just going to jump up the troops and we'll get ready to go. We're going to use the same exact strategy one more time because it's just... It's just too good. I think it's just I think balloons are ridiculously OP, but people just don't like to use them. I mean, they're expensive to upgrade. They take a while to train, and that's just a big turnoff. They're really slow. People assume they weren't good, even though that's really not true. I've been using balloons for such a long time. I love them, and the level six ones they look badass. I mean, how can you not freaking like a giant black balloon with thorns coming out of it, dropping bombs? They're suicide bombers now. They're just they're just pretty cool. All right, so we have our full army camps. Again, 35 minions, which takes up 70 spots and 34 balloons. I've tried a bunch of different uh, minion and balloon strategies, and I, I like that one the best. I think that one is the most effective because it just it just has a nice bounce because you you have plenty of plenty of room to send out a bunch of balloons, but your minions pack a big big punch, and uh, I like having 35 of them there. They do, they do a really good job, so I found that bounce really helpful. Okay, so I'm just going to look for a base. I mean, I did see that first one, but the Inferno Towers just destroy balloons, especially with the, the new 3 peat are so annoying. So I'm going to find a base. Hopefully, I just need like 200k plus, and I will be right back. See you guys in a second. Hey, yo, guys. We found our last raid, another 500k loot. This guy has all of his air defenses up, and they're going to pack a little bit of a punch, but I don't think it will be any worries. So his Archer Queen is not there, so that will be perfect. So I'm going to take the three lightning spells, and we're going to take out one of the air defenses. Let's see. I really like to take out the air defenses if it's right on the uh, wizard tower. But since none of them are, I'm going to take out this one because I do the one on the bottom right because I feel like that is the closest to that wizard tower and see if I can land a few good hits on it. Yeah, oh wow, that was that was some pretty nice pretty nice spell placement. I didn't think I was going to be able to get that uh, wizard tower out of the way, but we ended up getting freaking quite a few buildings out of the way right there. So we're just going to check for clan reinforcements. Excellent, nothing there. So now we're just going to send out uh, a bunch of balloons at the top, and we're going to send out a bunch of balloons at the bottom. And then for the remaining balloons, or the remaining one, we sent out towards that 
Wizard Tower. And now we're just going to do minions for every place that there are troops damaging my balloons. Because the balloons are kind of like mini air tanks with the minions packing a huge punch and just destroying everything. So things are going well right now. I mean, all the air defenses are about to be down. Perfect. They're good. They're out of the game. And uh, I'm going to drop the claim castle reinforcement troops. I'm, this is already a three star. I mean, it's already it's already GG, guys. Can't stop this, but I wanted to clean it up fast. And I got some nice wizards from my awesome clan. And uh, they're just going to be rushing through the base, getting that three star. And look at that. We're going like, to just get there with loot. Wow, it's going to be dead 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 on we're gonna finish with right around three million and five hundred thousand gold <laughs> wow that was crazy close i mean with the loot bonus it'll push us over but still epic raid three three stars in a row that's that's pretty sexy you guys should just smack up that like button for us for some sweet raiding okay so again i think yeah that was a 500k with the loot bonus so sweet 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 and we are gonna be able to upgrade that tesla awesome now let's see if we can do anything with the elixir. We have 3.1 million. I would like to upgrade my, because I, I currently have one dark elixir drill. It's actually pretty close to level 6, and I would love to upgrade another one. But at the moment, I think I'm just going to save my elixir till I get to that 5 million. Let's see if there's any troop that needs an upgrade. Hmm. There's really nothing. I mean, I would probably eventually like to get my dragons up, but 8 million elixir is freaking ridiculous. I don't really use healing spells, and uh, all the dark elixir troops I use are all maxed out. So I think we're just going to be fine with upgrading that Tesla. Boom, that level 7 one is going to be sweet. 14 days, 2 weeks, oh my god, that's ridiculous. But Teslas are awesome, and it's going to really help us when we're pushing up high. Okay, guys, so this was the Let's Play part, and now we're going to do the giveaway announcement thingy. So I am actually doing a giveaway very, very soon with Gaming with Molt. And it is going to be awesome. And uh, it's with VJ Can Dive as well. And we're just going to have a great old time. We're going to be doing $600 giveaway. So it's going to be a huge one. And the grand prize is an iPad mini. So it's going to be crazy. This is just the announcement for it. It's not uh, entering you guys. But that, that video is going to be coming out soon. It's just to get you guys all excited. They wanted me to do a little just talk to you guys about it. So it's going to be real fun. $600 on iTunes. A bunch, a bunch of winners. So big shout out to them for... For helping me put this together, because they they contacted me about it, so that's gonna be awesome. And now we're gonna get to the interview, which is gonna be real all cool. I'll be right back. See you guys in a second. Bye bye. Okay, guys. So I checked the interview, and it turns out my recording device totally screwed up the Skype video. So while you can hear Nick perfectly, you can hear me ask the questions. The audio is just like blinking. So I'm gonna have that on for like. 20 seconds just so you can get an idea of what Nick's look of what Nick looks like and then I'm gonna put it on to uh, just some ratings so you can still hear all the interview you can still hear the whole thing it'll still be cool but it's not gonna be incredibly obnoxious so I'm really sorry about that I have no clue why my recorder went all bat crazy and did this to me which pisses me off but I hope you guys enjoy the interview Nick's a really cool guy and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. let's get to it okay hey what's up guys Landon here and welcome to the first interview on the channel I am interviewing borderline disaster music do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself and what you guys do yeah hey how's it going guys I'm Nick for borderline disaster and we actually make music both original and gaming um, our channel we've been around for a few years now making music we started off doing stuff for like Call of Duty like Nazi zombies stuff like that then we started making our original music and now we kind of have a combination of both and we actually started a channel just dedicated to gaming just recently and now we're going to be doing our gaming stuff on one channel original music on another channel. Yeah, so guys, make sure to check out both their channels. I was watch, I was listening to a ton of their music yesterday, and it's just incredibly awesome. They have a they have a song about Clash of Clans. You want to tell us a little bit about that? About Clash on? Yeah, well, I mean, we always pick games that we're really into, and like the whole last year, I've been clashing like crazy. Um, yeah, and we were playing a lot, and I was thinking of a song to make, so we were like, all right, let's do Clash of Clans. We play enough. So we made that uh, just about a month ago now, and I actually run like a Clash of Clans YouTube channel and Boom Beach YouTube channel, just like you do, and I was like, this will fit perfectly. So we, it's actually getting received really well by the community. Everyone's really into it, and I'm pumped. We're getting a lot of YouTubers to use it. Yeah, the song is just freaking crazy awesome, and I'm actually going to be doing a project with it. I'm going to be doing an animation based with the song, and it's just going to be it's going to be in a few, one or two months, but it's going to be so cool, guys, and I'm just really, really excited about it. Yeah, I'm pumped to see what you make with it. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so, um, is there any music you want to feature or anything that you want to kind of point out besides Clash On? Um, basically, our our main songs that have been the most popular so far are all of our zombie series. We covered everything from like Call of Duty World at War to Black Ops, Black Ops Two. All the zombies have been That's a big so cool. thing for BD. Uh, we've done Halo, Borderlands, 
Call it, and we I don't know, a bunch of stuff. Okay, so what's your gaming channel called? The gaming channel is uh, our main channel is just Borderline Disaster, and then our new one's going to be BD Gaming. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure we'll link it to it in the video yeah, here. There'll be annotations and stuff on the screen. Yeah. So, guys, make sure to click that and check them out because I'm sure it'll be cool. Do you want to tell us a little bit about you playing Clash of Clans? Like, what level you are, what clan you're in, stuff? Yeah, let me grab my iPad. Hold it up. Do a nice little shout out. So, I've been playing since uh, March of last year. So, okay, guys, about we'll 10 months. On it. Yeah. Town Hall 10, uh, Clan Angels and Devils. And I play on my iPad. Right there. Ooh, looking good. Work. I like it. Yeah, I got my uh, level seven walls, purple walls. I run on my YouTube channel. That's uh, Teach Boom Beach is my actual channel. Its primary focus is Boom Beach, the game coming out very soon. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. But I also about that. cover. Yeah, I cover clans just as much on it. But I've got a decent following on there, and I don't know. I just love doing like challenges, gameplays, uh, clan shoutouts, base reviews, all that good stuff. Nice. So, are you guys working on any new music coming out that you can tell us a little bit about? Uh, we are working on a Battlefield song and then the Ooh, uh, cool. Extinction series for uh, Call of Duty for Ghosts. We oh, actually yeah. are covering every Extinction map pack. We're going to be releasing a song for that. That's awesome. What and made then you guys this, want, Oh, sorry, you go ahead. Uh, and then this summer uh, is actually going to be an original album that we're trying to get into a studio. So it won't be gaming related, but it'll be our same style. So I hope everyone's pumped for that. That's really cool. I'm kind of wondering what made you guys want to like go to gaming music instead of just focusing on just... Um, Making your own stuff, you know? Uh, we actually, we made a, three original songs with, like, this collaboration of me and my buddy. I'm in Chicago. He's in California. We started in California completely, but now that we're separated, we originally made original music, and then we were playing zombies one day, and we're like, we should just make a song about this just for fun. And we threw it on YouTube, and it got 350,000 views, and we're like, what is going on? So we just started making video game music, and it just, like, unfolded into this cool thing that is now getting really popular. It's really so awesome, yeah. So yeah. would, would you guys be interested in doing some more Clash of Clans music? Because I'm, I'm sure everyone's going to want to hear a lot more from yeah, you guys. I'm, Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, anything else that Supercell makes down the road. And then like whatever is the most desired by fans, of course. And then since you like doing animations, we could definitely do some collaborations oh, with that'd you. That would be so cool. I would yeah. love love doing that. And I'm sure everyone's really excited because the Clash of Clans animations have been really cool. But this is going to yeah. be a totally different style with the animation song. And I'm, Yeah, I'm they're also like... It. I want to see more length on them. It'll be cool to see a full length yeah, song. Yeah, three minute animation. forty. It's like kind of yeah. short. The animation's been like twenty seconds, a minute long. Yeah. It's gonna be a three minute forty second animation. So it's gonna take a while, but who? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped, pumped about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to tell us a little bit about all the members of your band and just kind of what you guys have been doing? Yeah. Um, we originally had like a rock band, which was right before this, which was four members, where I played guitar and, and did vocals for that. And now for this band, it's just two of us actually. Uh, me, Nick, and then Russell's my partner, and on the video, on our behind-the-scenes videos, you can kind of see how we do stuff, but a lot of it's uh, synths, a lot of programming, electronic drums, all that kind of stuff, and then uh, we will switch off half and half on vocals, and we both write together and everything like That's that. That's really so, cool, yeah. Nice work. Yeah, it's easy to do uh, over the internet if we have to, if we can't get together. Oh, yeah? Because yeah. he's, he's in L.A. all the time, and you're in Chicago most of the year? Yeah, uh, eventually we're probably going to be moving back together, but for school we had to get separated for a little while, but it'll come together soon. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's pretty awesome, though. Like, yeah. They're still far apart in making music. Yeah. So once again, guys, uh, to wrap up, if you want to go ahead and check out my band, Borderline Disaster, we're going to be doing some collaborations right here on Noteworthy Gaming. Hey. And, uh... And then we've got our gaming channel, original channel, iTunes link, all that'll be in the description. And then also be on the lookout for some collaborations, maybe challenges. I'm not sure what we'll do with my channel, Teach Boom Beach, and this one. So I think it'll be legit. Yeah, so guys, make sure to check them out. There'll be annotations on the screen, and they're just awesome. Make sure to show Clash on some major love. It is just such a good song. And uh, get pumped for the animation. Okay, guys, thank you so much for having the interview with me. This is fun. See you guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.